Hey, so this is Dustin and Terry from What's in the Shop. So today we're going to be talking about a wheel bearing pack service. On this particular coach, it is a 2019 Grand Design Imagine. Uh, a couple things, we're, we're not going to go into every single detail. I know everybody wants a lot of the, the meat and, you know, the ingredients or it all. So if you want to know all the details on how to do a, a wheel bearing service, please see either Lippert Components, please see... Uh, Dexter Axel. They have a great PDFs on there. I think they're around 80 to 100 pages and that'll give you a step-by-step. Basically what we wanted to do for you guys that are do-it-yourselfers is whenever you're working on uh, pretty much anything, any project, make sure that you're wearing the proper equipment, you know, safety glasses, like in this one, Terry's wearing some gloves. Uh, Before you get started on doing a wheel bearing pack, you know, make sure that you have the proper equipment. You know, it's just real important. We don't want to see anybody get hurt or injured. Um, Each manufacturer will have different recommendations on how to support the trailer. In this case, um, you know, we've done so many of them that we just, the guys are all trained to know where exactly to put those placements to to elevate the, the trailer off the ground. So once you've correctly supported the trailer, then basically what you're going to do is you're going to remove the wheel then once you've removed the wheel and, and the tire off of it, you're going to go ahead and remove the grease cap. You're going to pull off the cotter pin. You're going to pull off the spindle nut from the axle. There's usually a washer with that. You're going to pull all that stuff off of the spindle. You're going to remove the hub. Um, you know, make sure when you're taking out the seal out of the back of the hub that you use a suitable tool. You know, there's a, there is a seal removal tool a lot of times we'll just use a screwdriver we, we do use both um you know in this video you're gonna see where terry's got all the hubs off he's cleaning all the bearings he's checking all the races he's checking all the bearings itself um you're looking for the cups on the on the hubs to make sure that there's no damage um you know there's just there's just so many things i could go into detail on so i'm going to try to capture what I can in the time that we have for the video. Um, something that keeps coming up is people saying, hey, you know, I know there's a grease cert on my axle, and do I go ahead and do I add some grease to that? Well, you never want to mix grease. There's so many different types of grease. What will end up happening is it can cause a compatibility problem, and then it can cause the grease to break down or actually to get corrosive. So um, you're going to see Terry's over here now. He's, you know, packing the wheel bearings. After he's inspected them, very soon he's going to be installing them back into the hubs. He's going to use a block of wood to go ahead and and install the seal into the hub itself. Then he's going to go ahead and put the wheels back on. He's going to torque down the nut. Then he'll back it off. He'll make sure that it sprints to a certain degree. Then he'll go ahead and reinstall the, the cotter pin and get everything all cinched back up, putting it on the wheel, getting the wheels all torqued down. Some of the things, again, you know, make sure you rec- refer to your owner's manual. So each, you know, axle size has different torques on the wheel nuts. Um, you know, when we're underneath there doing a wheel bearing service, there's a lot more stuff than then just, you know, hey, I, I pulled off my wheels, I'm cleaning and repacking my wheel bearings. You know, we're checking out the springs, we're checking out the U-bolts, we're checking out the connections on the axles, we're checking the voltage, we're checking the brakes, we're checking the magnets, we're checking the linings. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of real you know detail. Uh, sometimes when we sit down in, in our class in our shop and we go and we talk about it with the techs, sometimes we'll spend a, a good hour just talking about the basics. So um, make sure that uh, you know you follow all the proper procedures. I would recommend that you you know it, it's so much detail again involved that I would tell you to take it to a shop and let them do it. That way you're kind of covered if there's any kind of liability as as well. So. Another question too that gets asked a lot is, hey Dustin, how often should we, you know, repack and inspect the brakes and the wheel bearings? Well, again, I'd tell you to refer to your owner's manual, but typically it's every 12 months or 12,000 miles. Um, A lot of the times when, when, you know, the axles sit for a while or if you're driving all the time, you know, the grease solidifies as everything breaks down over as time goes. You know, and the seals break down. This allows the grease to travel back behind the seal. It can actually get into the brake linings itself. Then you have a magnet in there that's electrified. 
you have metal that's dragging upon metal. It can cause, you know, things to catch on fire. So if you Google wool bearing fire on a trailer, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, you know, you're basically now you have grease on your brakes. So how are you going to stop that thing, right? If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Hope you love these videos. We're going to keep them up. And uh, stay tuned for the end where you'll see the guys kind of goofing around and stuff in the background. So have a fantastic day and thank you for watching What's in the Shop. Other than that, you'll hear it. You'll never hear the other.